Thank you, Chairman. Sorry for my late arrival. I, I had to vote in another committee. I, I was, would have liked to have been here through the entire debate. Um, there's some real vagueness coming in here. We've got terms such as larger farms, medium-sized, small farms. Who actually decides what is a large farm? And there are three ways of, of looking at it. You can judge it by its area, but then you're comparing a 5,000-acre hill farm in Scotland to a 100-acre grade one silt land farm in southeast Lincolnshire, uh, and that's, that small acreage will be producing far, far more than the larger one. Or you can look at it on turnover and output, or you can look at it the number of employees. But once you go down this route of trying to define what is large and what isn't, uh, particularly if you take a drive across this continent and what is a small farm in, uh, in Britain might be considered quite a large farm in somewhere in Eastern Europe. Uh, it would seem a lot easier to me that you just cap the payment at a certain level, have done with it. And uh, if, um, if people don't like it, well, they can say to their son, uh, here you are, you have a, a tenancy on half of this, that's now it's two holdings, uh, and you, we, you and I can both claim the payment. It would seem a lot simpler to do that. Uh, talking about definitions, and I know it isn't mentioned he here in this paper, at least I don't think it is, but I hear it so often from the green lobby, the term factory farm. What on earth is a factory farm? Because with the addition of one bird on a poultry unit, you could go from a twee little family farm to an industrial hellhole just by the addition of a single bird or a single pig. I, I would urge the Green Lobby, to say exactly what they mean by this. And, of course, we've got my old hobby horse here. Uh, the farmers have got to operate within defined climate targets. I mean, what on earth really will that amount to? I know I've spoken about it a lot, but once you go down this route, you've got to say, you must reduce CO2 by X, you must reduce nitrous oxide by Y, you must reduce methane by Z. How is that going to be measured? Um, it's nice to talk about these things, I'm sure. I don't think it'll make the slightest difference anyway, but it is an administrative nightmare. Thank you very much.